Alright, hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Uncharted Drake's Fortune. In the last episode, we took out all these enemies in this courtyard here. So now, we're gonna... Wait, did we take out all the enemies? <laughs> oh. Dang. Well, I guess not. I apologize for that. <laughs> Thought I took out all the enemies. But I guess Elena really didn't kill that guy that was up in that section. <laughs> well anyway, we'll we'll continue on anyway. He's not that important. <laughs> We're gonna get up on that upper ledge soon anyway. So we can just kill him when we get up there. It'll be easier that way. At least I hope it'll be easier that way. Watch I'll end up dying and I'll have to do that whole sequence over again that I thought I had finished, but apparently I did not. And I ended that last episode off with it unfinished. So I apologize. It was close enough to being finished. Yeah, so there's 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 that guy that I did not kill. Again, I'm sorry. There, he's dead now. Happy. <laughs> There's got to be treasure somewhere. Please? I don't know if we can make that jump, can we? I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> no, no. Let's just continue on then. Okay, so... Is there treasure around here at least then? Maybe if we try jumping over here nothing alright if you say so game let me double check on this side oh, nothing we can do about that anyway just wanna drop down and this is a section that we can't get to normally we had to take those high upper pass passages to get over here. But anyway, there's exploding barrels in front of this door. And that allows Elena to walk in. But I'm gonna look around. Nice job! Thanks. I'm gonna look around for treasure, because this is such a big courtyard and I didn't really look that hard. And I don't remember if there's actually treasure around here or not. I would assume they would put one in such a huge area, but what do I know? So that was the staircase we just went up. Um, that was the door I just blew up. Gotta be at least one in this area somewhere. Okay, now I'm just walking around in circles. Well, maybe not in this area, but I thought one of the side areas had treasure somewhere. Like on those high up ledges. I thought there might have been one somewhere around there. I guess I'm just completely wrong and don't know what I'm talking about at all. But that's happened a couple times. Yeah, so I'll just forget. Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> I guess we'll just move on. Wait, I want to double check again. <laughs> I can't. I can't bring myself to believe that there's no treasure. Even though that's quite a high possibility. Well, I guess we'll move on then. Yeah, let's just go through the door that we blew up. In this room, maybe? I hope I'm not insane. <laughs>
Looks like I am. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well. <laughs> I don't want to give up for some reason. Just, just move on. I'm wasting too much time here. Way too much time wasted. I'm sorry about that. Here. I'll hold that while you brace the gate open. <sighs> I'm really sorry about wasting that much time. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let it go. Gently. <laughs> that looks painful. <laughs> But of course, Nate's awesome upper body strength allows him to just hold it open. Okay, now this battle, holy cow, this battle. This is probably one of the toughest battles in the game. I, there's like, because there's tons of enemies, and they will flank you from every side, pretty much no matter where you hide out. I think I found one spot that makes you pretty safe, and we're going to go to it. Okay, but if I cannot do this, then I think I may just be cheap and skip it. Because there is a way to actually skip this battle. I would like not to have to do that, but if we must, we must. Okay, so this is my spot. This is a fairly safe spot from all sorts of flanking. There's not really a good spot to aim. Oh, oh, never mind. I just had to get situated right. Yeah, this battle is very tricky. Maybe if I take out that sniper first and then move on. Alright, so there's another one that pops up over here. I'm going to take out those guys real quickly. We might as well use the rest of our sniper ammo here. Take out as many guys as possible beforehand and then maybe sneak our way up see this guy's flanking you everywhere I almost died okay so let's just let's just get to my safe spot quickly quickly okay now we should be good from here as long as I don't manage to mess this up. Okay, there's the last guy. Let's take him out. Okay, now, after you kill the first wave of enemies, another wave of enemies comes from down there. This wave is a lot more annoying. And as soon as they pop up, I'll show you why. If they pop up. I think I killed those the first wave too quickly. Okay, here they come. Got shotgun guys, you got two M79 guys. Oh man. They really like good you know what? I'm gonna make the player die a lot during this section. So we're gonna throw bunch of guys that can kill you really fast and they all run towards you and try to flank you okay. and that's what makes this battle so annoying there's really no good cover except for this spot there may be another spot somewhere around here this spot is fairly easy to get to and from the experience I have it works for the most part obviously you have to uh, hide in the right way you can still die up here pretty easily just gotta be patient like in most places but up here kind of ensures your success and this guy is trying to sneak up on me crap get back get back oh, oh my god <laughs> take him out whoa what <laughs> he went flying up that wall that was pretty funny yeah, so there's two. M they send out two M79s and two shotgun guys on that second wave. That must be the library. Yeah, so this Over big there. building is where they're holding right Sully. The Let's find another way in. Let's go think but about. there's lots of treasure in this area. I'm talking lots. And I'm not actually insane about this part. There actually is a lot. There's actually three treasures in this area. So here's the first one: a silver toothpick. 
And that battle is incredibly more easy. Well, it's way easier if you do it from the spot I did. Anywhere else, it's almost impossible on crushing. And I'm pretty happy that I didn't have to skip that battle. Like I mentioned, you can skip it. Um, and I'll explain that. How you skip it after I'm done collecting treasure here. Next treasure is over this way. So we got a golden Spanish chalice. Just found the silver one of those not too long ago. And the third one is in that area where the second wave of enemies came out. The one that really tries to kill you. I hate those guys. <laughs> uh, it's somewhere around here. Maybe. Where are you, treasure? It's probably just sitting. I've probably looked at it like 500 times. Oh, here we go. We got the silver Kodamundi. Also found the gold one of those not too long ago. Yeah, so that's about it. Now, to skip this, that battle, you would still go up to the library, taking the same path I did. Maybe take out some of the guys so it's easier to get up here. But when you get up here, you want to use the pillars to roll all the way around. And then just kind of take cover using the railings. And then there's a door up here, which is the side entrance we need to go into. And if you go in there while the battle is going on, uh, the battle will end because well I'll just say now there's a cutscene there but we're not going to be doing that this episode we will go ahead and explore the inside of the library next episode and see where they're keeping Sully it's supposed to be in there somewhere but well we'll just have to see goodbye thanks for watching everybody